Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Advanced Blueprint Tutorial Series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at using booleans inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now booleans are probably going to be the most common yet most simple type of data or variable inside of the engine. A boolean variable is pretty straightforward but it's going to be used for the majority of all the functionality that you're going to have in your game. So if I go ahead and press plus variable and then set the variable type to boolean and then just give this the name test bool, hit compile and straight away you'll see what this is. It's essentially a true or false variable. It's essentially asking us to tick it or untick it. So the way that this is going to work is with many things like a door for example in your game you are going to run a check to see whether or not the player has the key for that door and that's going to return as a true or false variable, uh, a true or a false response rather and that information is going to be contained within a boolean data type. So hopefully that does make sense for you guys but it's just a true or false value and it's just going to be used in all sorts of gameplay mechanics. So let's go ahead and show you how you can work with one of those. So you've seen how we can create one, you've also seen how to change the value, the default value for that anyway. Now what you can also do with a boolean is if we just go ahead and just type in set test bool within here what we can do is if we just quickly delete this is we can change the value of the ball by just using this set test ball node and then from here to change that all we've got to do is tick it or untick it so if it's ticked it's going to be true if it's unticked it is going to be false and then what we can do from here so if you just wanted to find out what this variable is or what it's equal to at the moment you can simply uh, convert the result or the value of that after changing it into a print string and you will be able to see it on the screen. So what I'm going to show you what you can do to change this is what I'm going to do is start off by doing a print string to start with and then what I'm going to do is run a little delay and then with this we're going to drag out the test ball and then set this to a different value. So if I click the, uh, the variable in the bottom, uh, sorry, in the left here, at the moment it's untrue. After a delay of about two seconds, we're going to set it to true. And then, once again, we are just going to run a print string. And all I've done there is just pasted this in. Now, as of right now, it's just a string value. So what we're going to do is we are just going to get a reference to the test ball. So once again, to get that, you can either right click and type in get test boolean and we can get it from there or we can just drag it out and press a get in there and then we convert that to a string it's as simple as that so what this should be doing now this code that we've got here is it should print the string the original value after two seconds it should change it and then print it again so compile this press play top left it says false give it two seconds and it's now changed to true and you can see just how quickly we can change that information now what i'm also going to do is i'm going to open up my level blueprint again just so you can see sort of how we would use this information and that is going to be uh, be in a branch node you'd hook up a variable into there uh, for a boolean or any kind of condition and you can use that to sort of chuck out like a response if it's equal to true equal to false and so on but we're going to be going more into the branch node and conditioning in the next video anyway guys i'm going to end the video here once again thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating i look forward to seeing you in the next one your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.